Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Sarah from Taiwan, uh, Taiwan Biodiversity Information Facility, Thai, thai Beef. Um, I'm a database administrator and mainly manage the database Taiko, the national checklist database in Taiwan. Uh, today, I'm very happy to share with you a tool that we developed to solve some issues that we have encountered. And the issues may be also shared by some checklist databases. The topic is Taiko Scientific Names Management Tool, Rebuilding the National Checklist in Taiwan based on references. Uh, it probably is similar to the, the last session, the Australian species list, they, uh, they, base, they use based on uh, resources, something like that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, here are some issues or challenges we have encountered. Number one, uh, we probably fall short in recording and presenting diverse opinions on species uh, over time and among different scholars. Number two, due to the rapidity of class classification changes and limited workflows for database maintenance, checklists usually cannot be updated promptly. Number three, Exchanging checklist poses a complex challenge, such as name matching for a synonym, homonym, orthographic variations, and this uh, uh, misapplied name. Even matched to a name, we still don't know um, if it, it is the same text on. Okay, so we realized that uh, we need more references for checking. If we have scientific scientific names linked to reference and record the status of scientific name in the reference, then we can trace back the history. When doing name matching through accompanying with the reference, we can be more sure it is the correct text on. So we think an ideal checklist database should enable database to record and show diverse classification views or taxonomy concept and the retain history of classifications, allowing users uh, to judge and interpret by themselves. That the classification views return to literature, align with the primitive function of literature and scientific names for taxonomies. That is, taxonomies uh, publish literature to express their views on classification. So uh, here it shows when matching to a name, you can see name B. Sometimes it, this, uh, it doesn't mean the same taxon. So we should keep this information all into database. Another issue for the limit uh, workforce and to keep up with rapid classification changes, we think we should increase collaboration with taxonomists. But taxonomies seems to be getting rare. <laughs> so if we can help cultivate new blood in taxonomic research, that should also benefit us. We also want to establish community to help enriching content of database or updating checklist. Then we finally decided to develop a tool for taxonomy research to meet the goals above. So the method, we start from the method study we, uh, to understand uh, taxonomy's workflow by interviewing taxonomists. Then we can know what kind of tool they may use to help their work. We also survey the nomenclature codes and taxonomy literatures to know the meaning of every element in taxonomy treat, uh, literatures, partic particularly the taxonomy treatment. Then we create a database model and use wireframe and prototype to interview and test experts' uh, operations in some scenarios. So uh, then we identify some key concepts of taxonomy treatments. There are probably many similar words that we, we uh, everybody use. Mm. Uh, so the first one is uh, scientific name, and number two is uh, name usage, and three is similarity or differences uh, in name usage and namespace. Uh, just image here is the part of taxonomy literature, uh, taxonomy treatments in the in a literature. The first part and uh, the most important part is scientific name. I'm tired. <laughs> Including authorship and the publication. That's the scientific name, the part. The primitive uh, information associated with the name. Then followed by the name usage, which express uh, author's opinions of name, legality, and the validity, validity and the descriptions on nomenclature changes. 
Then if it's not a new name, sometimes it will follow by some citations. It's a review of previous uh, name usage, describing similarities and differences with author's own perspective, like using ognon and property, the some indicator. Okay. Then uh, the namespace accommodates the aforementioned content. The taxonomic views is consistent uh, within the same namespace, referring to specific spatial temporal ranges as the description in the reference. Here are the main tables in the database model. Uh, many words. Taxon names purely record information associated to scientific names, or objectively without personal opi opinion. Author and reference have in uh, independent table and information broken down into fields. And taxon name and reference linked to author by uh, association, association tables individually. And uh, usage compilation compilation is for recording name usage, including status, descriptive, or nomenclature indicator and parent taxon. And next, per use, per, usage, per usage reference description is for reviewing and each per usage is, uh, per usage, each per usage is a citation. And compilation usage attribute is for recording the information mentioned in the reference. So everything, uh, in front of reference. Also, now the tool is open for using. And if you want to try, you can scan and use the URL. And here are some captures of this tool. We call it scientific names management tool. This tool have guest mode and login mode. As guest, you can view and search for name, um, reference and person. There will be more details in the information page of each of them. Users can register and log in, then can use, edit, and manage. The tool is under continuously optimizing, optimizing, and will be added more features to make it easy, uh, to make it easier to use. About editing uh, function, users can add and edit name, reference, person. The editing form will vary by the code chosen. So can, uh, mm. different biological groups sometimes use different ranks or different words for the same thing, like original combination in ICZN is code for animals, basonym in ICN code for algae, fungi, plants, and basonym in ICMP code for prokaryotes. Prokaryote. They also have different needs for authorship information. The authorship format in these codes are quite different, but now we can standardize the authorship by knowing the code that the name belongs to. As for reference editing, the form will also vary by the type chosen or the reference type. Now we have four types of references, including journal article, book chapter, book, and checklist. Uh, the checklist is for informal references uh, like thesis, research report, and checklist announced by experts or academic association. Sometimes we still need to accommodate these kind of references for practical using. And because there are so many fields to fill, we provide an import tool to get bibliography or reference by using DOI. And another one, my checklist is a, it's another function. My checklist is a personal namespace. User can create many checklists and edit them here. User can use it to record text based on reference or prepare the taxonomic treatments for publishing. Users can download the documents after editing, then can use it as a part, as a part of article. Is it right? Okay. okay. Uh, double click the scientific name card, the last part. Double click the, the scientific name card. Then uh, you can enter name usage editing. It's for expression, uh, expressing taxonomies, opinions, 
So we tell the tool, the parent taxon status and indication. The indication option list is provided according to the status chosen. Then following by the reference that taxonomy cited here as the review. After chosen or editing information, the tool will provide the suggested writing automatically by arranging the inputs. Uh, here, suggest writing. Mm. And depending on the nomenclatural code of the name, the suggest writing will show different style. For example, ICN will show the reference abbreviation, but not in ICZN. About the properties in name usage is the information from reference, like if uh, if it is uh, is this in Taiwan or is it endemic, native, um, naturalized, uh, fossil or and habitat? Also the common names. We record the information and link them to name usage. Then we can trace back where are these information coming from. After complete the checklist, user can come back to the reference information page and import names from my checklist into the reference. Then the checklist become public and name become name usage. The name usage is the key lineage. I, I forget to change, sorry. Oh, yeah, import name. So after complete the, the last page, the checklist, user can come back to the reference information page and import names from a checklist into the reference. Then this checklist become public and name, name become name usage. The name usage is the key lineage between scientific name and reference. And how can taxonomy use the scientific name management tool? They can use to, uh, to the collect function and compare usage in reference and organize checklist and uh, drafting taxonomy treatments for publishing. So this is the framework of Taiko. We develop the scientific names management, man, management tool as the data core of Taiko portal, which is responsible for managing complex taxonomic history of scientific names and make it align with taxonomy's workflow. Then while they use this tool to do the management and the research work, they can also enrich, I forgot, <laughs> So the framework. So while they use this tool to do the management and the research work, they can also enrich Tyco. And the new Tyco portal present the data from scientific names management tool. The data is from the tool. And because comprehensive uh, taxonomy history can be preserved, the catalog can be presented with diverse perspectives. Also, taxon information is compiled in the Tyco portal, like photo conservation, uh, conservation information and related links. So moving to our future work, uh, we, think, we think we should uh, uh, enhance integration of subjective uh, synonyms, including homotypic names, also graphic variations, uh, replacement names, and even misspelling in literature. Now we can group them by the usage in the reference. Um, it's the orig original meaning in the reference. If we cannot get enough uh, name usage, then we can link them by vessel name or original combination. But I'm still not sure how to link the misspelling or those orthographic variations that have been no original combination or we, uh, we have not enough usage to group them. I'm still thinking. So if you have some idea, you can share with me. So number two, maybe in the future, we can provide checklists of different taxonomy views by provide function uh, the build to, to build the taxonomy view. And it will be built by selecting references. Then uh, after we can integrate the usage, then give you another view of a checklist. Uh, last but not least, we need to increase utilization of the tool. We plan to provide operational guide, a list of resources, and run some user tutorial workshops. We'll have, we'll have done some. Also collaborate with academic groups to reach more taxonomists. So here's a, a we thank you and thank you attention time. Thank you. Thank you. I think we have time for one question.
in the meantime, we can switch over to the next presentation. Any questions?